How to display the last updated date of your post in WordPress. Hey there, welcome back to our channel. This is How to Boss. In today's video, we're going to show you how to display the last updated date of your post in WordPress. So without further ado, let's go to our Google Chrome, open up our WordPress here, and then open up again uh, our Google. And then let's type in how to display updated date of your post in WordPress. So as you can see right here, we'll look for a article. So, it will look like this. Why display the most updated word post? This one. So, here, go to snippet. So, right there, add snippet. And then use the snippet right there. Add snippet. And then click on this one right there. Active if you are in your WordPress account. And then once you've done that, that's all that we wanted so the last modified on June 23rd 2022 so how to manage that one as you can see right there you can see the post and then don't update modified date you can see that right there it's lined red so using the AI, AI, uh, AIO SEO plugin recommended you can do this prompt right there so you need to have the AI O S E O plugin so that also known as uh, all in one SEO is the best WordPress SEO plugin on the market that helps you improve search rankings without learning complicated jargons right there. So if you want to have this one you must follow these steps right there and also you can click on this site on WordPressbeginner.com to display the last updated date of your post in WordPress so so that in simple steps you can change and update the last updated post on your content with your WordPress and there you have it you have successfully learned how to display the last updated date of your post in WordPress by adding this feature you will provide your readers with valuable informative about the freshness of your content and also guys, remember to follow the steps we have outlined in this video to implement the last updated date feature on your WordPress site. So if you found this tutorial helpful, let's try this one on our account. Let's continue this one. So generate name for us. Let's continue. And then it has a plan so that we don't want to use that for now for tutorial purposes only. Follow these steps right here in this article and you are all good to go so if you have any questions or suggestions about wordpress tips and tricks feel free to leave them in a the comment down below and also guys thanks for watching follow those steps and integrate your wordpress in for your personal use or business use and integrate settings and features in order for you to maximize its capabilities and we will see you on the next video.